Good morning. Good morning. We get to see you except on TV in real life. <laughs> Honored to be here. Good morning, Madam President, Commissioners, Chief Saunders, City Attorney, Eric Scott, Captain Two, Public Information Officer for the LAFD. And uh, today we're honored to be able to discuss two separate presentations, but they're linked. They're linked both in purpose and by blood, but we'll explain. Mm -hmm. To begin with, we'd like to ask please Battalion Chief Mike Flynn to step up along with his father, Patrick Flynn. Oh. Now, Chief Flynn is being recognized for his exceptional leadership and outstanding work to the deployment of more than 3,500 new portable radios, mm -hmm. as well as the training of over 3,200 sworn members. And this transpired from April 2018 to December 2019. And it was thanks to his personal sacrifice, the unwavering commitment he had to this project that the Information Technology Bureau successfully delivered the most advanced piece of critical communication equipment to the department on record. So for a little background, again, this was in 2018, then Captain Flynn was detailed to uh, ITB and literally from the moment he arrived to that assignment, he took initiative and he led nearly every aspect of the portable radio project. That required organizing the receipt and the timely inventory of the radios. You had to develop comprehensive initial testing, a quality assurance procedures, creating training plans, live action training videos, and he also actually created a communication smartphone app in reference to radio material that could be received there and personally delivered more than 160 courses to all of our sworn members. Wow. Now, of course, like any big project, it came with challenges and problems. So midway through the deployment of these new radios to the field, they started to receive various reports of issues with the new radios. So Captain Flynn, again, through his own personal initiative, he dug in, took the lead, created a work team with members from the Information Technology Agency, EOPS, UFLAC, COA, and Motorola to identify the problem. Mm -hmm. And they determined that the issue was related to the antenna. So they developed a rigorous testing procedure and a series of protocols that were used over an intense eight-week period to isolate the problem. So it's important to note, too, that these protocols had to be tested on multiple different antennas. So there's a lot of repeated work that had to be done. And the tests were meticulously documented. And this was so cutting edge that the testing was live streamed to Motorola staff across the world. Hmm. And Flynn's unwavering commitment to firefighter safety and high professional standards has actually resulted in creating new testing standards for the LAFD. So it's important to mention that because of this relentless work that these radios were also rolled out to the boots on the ground just in time. If you remember 2019, we had a very active wildfire season. So we had the significant incidents like the Saddle Ridge, Palisades and Getty fires. So this was a milestone because for the first time in our history, every single member on the fire ground had radio capabilities for all communication plans on VHF frequency, and that's not just for ground operations, but also air to ground operations for critical communication with helicopters. So in conclusion, uh, Mike Flynn showed incredible initiative. He was laser focused and tenacious with his follow through and really is achieving the department's strategic plan goal six, which is to explore, implement, and integrate technological innovations and advancements. And for that, uh, Fire Chief Crowley has chosen to uh, award him, and I think he deserves a round of applause. But there's more. Oh. As you see standing there is Patrick Flynn, and as previously mentioned, that there was a monumental task of delivering this radio training to all members to learn about this new critical piece of equipment. So there was multiple training videos that were created. Uh, this worked in support of the in-service training and approval of EOPS, AOPS, that these videos were created to ensure that members could learn and review this information 
at their own pace. So these videos that were produced, we had fortunately the assistance of a professional recording studio that's in Fire Station 60's first in called Riverton Productions. And as you likely guessed, Patrick Flynn here is the owner and sound engineer. And so he assisted us with a total of 18 audiovisual projects over the last five years, 10 of which of those training videos are still very routinely used today. And they're available, again, on that unique app that Chief Flynn created, ILAFD. They're also on Vimeo and Target Solutions. And some of those videos would include things like introduction to this radio's functions. How does a Mayday operate? What about the batteries and the chargers? How do you program it? How do you activate the emergency tones? The list goes on and on that has to be taught for our new members to be competent. Now, Riverton Productions isn't just a small mom and pop store here. He has, he has 42 years of experience. He works with the best of the best, like Universal Pictures, Columbia Pictures, on big projects. Maybe you'll recognize some of these. E.T., Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, The Grinch, Apollo 13, Seabiscuit, Ghostbusters, it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. So we thank you, Patrick Flynn, for your critical assistance in these video projects. And every one of these videos has a combination. You have to do recording, editing, mixing, put in different effects, a lot of post-production that goes into making these successful. And the assistance was that was provided was done voluntarily. So I guess we could say the price was right. It was free 99. <laughs> but um, for that, we sincerely thank you. And we too would like to offer you a round of applause. And if it's okay, we'd like to invite up Chief Flynn to, to make just a, a few comments. Chief. Good morning. Michael Flynn, Battalion Chief, Good Battalion morning. 13, A Platoon. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Commissioners, Chief, Bureau Commanders, guests, and staff. This was a great experience, and there was no shortage of challenges. It truly took a team of people to be successful. The support provided by EOPS, AOPS, In-Service Training, Information Technology Bureau, Fire Communications staff, the APX training cadre, light duty members, and Gary Apodaca was immense. Chief White and Chief Ruiz, thank you for trusting me. I did have an ace up my sleeve. I want to personally thank my father for all his assistance with the training videos. And I want to thank my mother for allowing him to stay after at work. <laughs> I wanted every LAFD member to have the opportunity to review aspects of the portable radio on video to ensure everyone goes home. Your assistance provided a Hollywood level quality and ensured that LAFD members have easy to follow videos, keeping everyone trained and safe at work. As an additional thanks, I have a plaque to present to thank you for your time, dedication, and assistance. Oh, nice. I think as uh, we want to thank you for your services also. Sounds like we wouldn't have radios in this department if uh, Ch Battalion Chief Flynn hadn't come and done all the work that he did. And we know how important those radios are to the safety of everyone on a, on a site. And to have your father and your whole family contribute to the uh, videos and the success of this program, it's really wonderful. And we really thank you very much, uh, Patrick Flynn, for all your volunteer service to us because we probably couldn't afford your services otherwise. <laughs> Thank you for loving the fire department so much and wanting to make sure your son stays safe. Um, so that we, with that, um, we want to thank you again for that. How many hours and how many days did it take you, uh, uh, Mike, to do the, uh, the complete the whole program? Uh, Madam President, uh, it took uh, a lot of time, uh, a lot of dedication. Uh, we initially took delivery of uh, 3,500 radios, and then uh, we ended up having to turn those back in and got another 3,500 radios that were uh, the HXE radios. So I actually created all of the training videos and the entire training protocol 
and then had to scrap the whole project and uh, started back up six months later and do the entire thing all over again, reshoot all the videos, reshoot all the, do all the audio again. Um, so there was a, a lot of hours. Uh, oh my goodness. I will really appreciate and thank you for your dedication to that project. I can hear of all of the things that happen along the way. Um, to have to redo it, oh my goodness. That is, uh, that's really something. Thank you very much to uh, the whole Flynn family uh, and to the little new one there who doesn't realize that he's being thanked. Uh, she, <laughs> is it a he or she? Uh, that, that they're being thanked. Um, but we really appreciate the services of your family to helping the LAFD stay safe and have access to those, uh, to the most modern equipment and to have the training at hand so that they could actually, I guess, do it at their leisure? Correct. And they uh -huh. can always access it anytime, day or night, from their phones, from their mobile devices, from the iPads, from their MDCs, so that it's available to them, and, and it's available within three clicks. So oh, anything they need. That's really wonderful. We're very lucky to have you. Thank you for being a part of LAFD with, all, with the skills that you have that you've shared with us. It goes beyond just firefighting. Thanks so very much. Thank you. Commissioners? Again, having someone, you know, we think of all these things that the fire department needs and the diversity of the department of something like technology and going to the next level. So I really appreciate seeing it, that we're making those strides uh, to keep up with everything that's out there. So thank you for all of your dedication. Absolutely. Thank you. And if you could share a link with uh, Ms. Gomez, she could send it to us. Maybe we could actually view one of the videos. Absolutely. If possible. I think that would be fun for us to see exactly what you did. Uh, we hear it and we know it was outstanding, uh, but we just like to see it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <see> today. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, again, thank you, um, Captain Scott, for the recognition. I know we started this a long time ago before COVID or during COVID and we were not meeting in person. So it's much better to do this in person than to try to do it on a video. And we're glad that we got to the point where we could actually officially recognize you both and really see and hear all of that, all that you've done for us. Thanks again for all of everybody who had, who contributed to the presentation. We thank you all. If it's okay, we'd like to take a few photos with the, with the family as usual sure. protocol. I think we move so that we don't get caught in the picture and then we just move down. down. So we can get our picture too. Okay. If I could have the, uh, there we go. That looks great right there. How are Thank you, everyone. 